Today, what I'm going to be doing is comparing the Jules Solo Red Light Therapy device with the Platinum Biomax 900. It's 0 0.075, 12, 32, 60, 76, but it had a flicker percent of 29%. Hello, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and have I got a video for you. So today, what I'm going to be doing is comparing the Jules Solo Red Light Therapy device with the Platinum Biomax 900. Now why am I so excited by this video? Well, last year, late last year in 2019, I did what I called the best, in search of the best body panel uh, for 2019. And I looked at six different Red Light Therapy panels, including the Jules Solo, uh, and I looked at companies like Mito Red, Mito HQ, Red Therapy, um, and I also included the Platinum Biomax 600, which is slightly smaller than this. It has 200 LEDs compared to the Biomax 900, which has 300 LEDs. Now, the Biomax 600 came out in first place, all right? Um, it won that whole competition, beating Jew, the Jew Solo. And I looked at various metrics such as uh, power, radiance, flicker, EMF, all sorts of things. If you want to check out that entire series, I'll put links below or head over to alexfergus.com and you'll find that um, article over there. But I didn't have the Biomax 900, and I actually think the Biomax 900 is a better value uh, panel compared to the Biomax 600, just because from a dollar point of view, you're getting more bang for your buck, you're getting more LEDs, you're getting more power per dollar. Plus the panel is, is, is slightly bigger. But what I want to do in this video is do a direct head-to-head -head between the Platinum Biomax 900 and the Juve Solo, which is probably the most famous, uh, most popular in terms of well-known um, red light panels out there. Biomax, the Platinum Biomax range, not as well-known, but those who are you know, well, well informed and, or at least well researched in this space are well aware of the Platinum Biomax range. And those who have watched my video series I was just talking about before would, would also be well up to speed on, on the technical advancements that this panel has. Um, so what I'm going to do today is we're going to compare these two panels across a variety of metrics. We're going to look at price, we're going to look at shipping, we're going to look at peak power, we're going to look at wavelengths, we're going to look at flicker, sound, um, and everything else, anything else I can think of. We're going to compare them head to head. So if you are in the market and you were thinking of buying a Biomax or a Juve or some other company's panel and you just wanted to check these out and see which is the better. And one thing I should mention, I am affiliated with Platinum Biomax. I used to be affiliated with Juve, but unfortunately I'm no longer affiliated with Juve. They decided uh, they didn't want my uh, referrals and cut my affiliation. And that was after my previous epic roundup series I did. That was after the Biomax panel came out number one. And uh, when I filmed that, I was affiliated with every single panel. So there was no biasness, you know, I, I didn't really care who came out number one. Um, you could argue that now, like I'm gonna be a little bit more biased with Biomax, but hey, I'm going to be doing these tests. I'm going to show you the results. You can, you know, take it. The whole idea is to give you the data to make an informed decision. Um, so right now I am affiliated with Platinum. If you go off to the Platinum Therapy website and buy this particular panel or any of their panels, you can use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, you will save 5% and I do get a commission. With Juve, there is no discount code and there is no commission. So with round one, we're gonna look at price and shipping. Price in USD, US dollars, and shipping to mainland America. So, first things first, shipping, this makes it easy. It's equal tie for both parties. Both Juve and Platinum offer free shipping to mainland America, so that's easy. There's no points to be awarded there. We'll just keep everyone on zero. So let's look at price. The Juve, Juve Solo, is $1,195 American. There are no discount codes to be had, uh, either through myself or through any other affiliates because Juve don't do discount codes. So that's the best price you're gonna get. With Platinum, with the Platinum 900, the, the price after using discount code Alex, which saves you 5%, is $1,000. $91.50. So 
So that is a saving of $104 between the two of them, which is which is a big saving. I mean, that's that's a huge percent difference. Um, so at the end of round one, this was a nice, short, easy round, wasn't it? Platinum Biomax 900 is going to take one point as it has the better price. So in round two, we're going to look at the EMF and ELF levels of these devices. I've got here my Cornet Electro Smog Meter. This is a two, three hundred dollar device uh, that is surprisingly accurate. I've had it compared to professional ten thousand dollar plus meters, and um, it's held up very, very well. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test magnetic field at 6 inches and electric field at 6 inches for both panels and we're going to see who's got the uh, lower readings. Lower, the better. All right, High levels causing the high load on a stress load on the body. Um, uh, and like I said, I'm testing at 6 inches because that is the recommended uh, treatment distance from these panels. Yes, you can go right up to it and get a much higher power radiance, but 6 inches is the norm. Okay, so I've got a 6 inch ruler here. Uh, I'm going to be testing, like I said, magnetic field and electric field. So let's test the Juve magnetic field at 6 inches. Alright, so you're not going to be able to see this, but the reading on the screen at 6 inches is 0.07 with a slight fluctuation up to 0.08. We'll call it 7. So that's great. Both very, very safe levels. It will be interesting to see how the platinum compares. Alright, let's have a look. We will start with the magnetic field at 6 inches. For the magnetic field, we had 0.09, which is also a very, very good reading, and it's still in the green zone, but it is ever so slightly higher than the uh, Jew. Now, interestingly enough, all right, so we had 0.07 for the magnetic for Jew, and 0.09 for Biomax 900. So the Jew comes out on top. Let's compare the electric fields. And we have 8 volts per meter. Which, which is also a really safe number. Notice it's in the green zone there. Uh, and it's actually identical to Jude's number. So at the end of round 2, looking at EMF and ELF levels, we have the Jude ever so closely, like a fraction of a fraction, having a slightly lower uh, magnetic level than the Biomax 900. Um, they both had identical electric uh, fields, both in the green zone. Uh, so for this round, Drew gets one point and Biomax gets zero. That brings the total after two rounds to one point for Drew and one point for the Biomax. Next up, we're gonna look at power output. <laughs> So for power output, I'm going to use my spectrometer meter here, which cost me a few thousand dollars to get. It also tests for flicker, which we'll be comparing with these units later on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on these units. Oh, one unit at a time. I'm going to measure at six inches, and I'm going to go across the panel in a diagonal way to see the peak power output. Okay, that's typically what, well, that's what most manufacturers are doing. They're looking for peak. I know it's not the best way to measure power, um, it doesn't account for drop-offs and all that sort of stuff, but that's just the easiest way to do it, uh, and I think the fairest way. Uh, if you want to see all my thoughts on this poten potential test, be sure to check out my uh, 2019 body panel comparison where I go into a lot of detail about this. So we're going to start with the juve, and um, I will be firing up this unit and I'll try to read out the peak, I'll read out the highest numbers I see as I go across and then we'll, um, we'll, we'll do a comparison afterwards. Alright, let's do the Biomax 900. Again I'll be measuring power irradiance, peak power irradiance at 6 inches 
as I move diagonally across the center of the panel. Five, 12, 32, 60, 76, 64, 62, 66, 65, 62, 58, 59, 54, 57, 44. All right, so after doing that test, the power, peak power output for the Juve was 48 watts per square meter, uh, and the Biomax 900 was 76 watts. So that is a big difference. Uh, it's a huge difference, actually. And if you're looking for a panel that has the most power, out of these two at least, then the Biomax 900 is a clear winner. So that means for round three, Platinum LED Therapy Biomax takes the point and now we have a total of Juve on after three rounds Juve on one point and the Biomax on two points. We're going to look at flicker frequency and flicker percent. Alright, uh, personally I'm not a big I don't worry too much about flicker. I've got an article at my site, everything you need to know about light flicker and health. But some people are, so um, I'm going to test the Juve first, and we'll go from there. Alright, so the Juve had a flicker frequency of 100 hertz, and a flicker percent of 18 cent. Uh, lower is better. Let's test the Platinum Biomax now. Alright, so the Platinum Biomax had a flicker frequency of 100 Hz, same as Juve, but it had a flicker percent of 29%, which is a little bit higher than Juve. That means for round 4, if you're looking for a panel with the lowest or the better flicker, then Juve takes the cake and the point. So that means after 4 rounds, Juve has 2 points and the Platinum also has 2 points. It is close. Alright, next up. Let's look at sound. So now I'm going to test sound with my sound level meter and I'm also going to test that at 6 inches. Now um, it will be interesting to see how the Platinum Biomax goes as it has 5 fans. The Juve only has 4. So you would expect the Juve to do better. Alright, let's see how we go at 6 inches. So with the Juve, we have 56.2 decibels. Let's now test the Biomax. Remember, the lower the sound, the better. With the Biomax, we had 51.5, which is substantially lower than the Juve. So if you're looking for a panel that has less noise, is quieter, Biomax is the one to go for. And that's interesting because it has five fans compared with four in the Juve. So, for the sound round, we have to give the point to the Platinum Biomax 900. That means after five rounds, Juve is on two, Biomax is on three. Now we're going to look at total LED count, and this is a clear winner. You can see visually that the Biomax has a lot more LEDs. Obviously the more LEDs in there, the larger the treatment zone, the more power that's been emitted, more uh, joules that have been absorbed from the body. So the Juve has 150 LEDs, and the Biomax has doubled that, 300 LEDs. So um, yeah, I mean that's, that's a huge huge advantage there uh, with the Biomax 900, especially because it is a cheaper panel as well. So that's quite interesting. So that means the Biomax gets that point and we now have the Juve on two points and the Platinum on four. All right, now it comes to round seven and we're gonna look at the wavelengths emitted. Now, typically red light panels offer 
two wavelengths, 660 and 850 nanometers. The newer machines out in the last year or two allow you to alternate between or select which wavelength you want emitted, whether it's just 660 or 850. Now I can tell you right now that both panels have this function. You can choose if you want infrared or red light or both. So that's cool, it makes it easy for comparison. But the interesting thing is the Biomax is the second generation platinum LED panel lineup. And uh, that means as a result of that, what they've done is they've actually introduced more wavelengths into their lineup. So their first generation panel had the 660 and the 850, which is exactly what the Juve Solo has, 660 and 850. However, the second generation Biomax, what we have right here today, has five wavelengths. 80% of the power is going to 660 and 850. 20% of the power is split between 610, 630 and 830, I think it was, nanometers. All the details are on my review, the Biomax review over at alexfergus.com. Now those uh, wavelengths haven't just been pulled out of the air and you know as a marketing ploy. There's actually a lot of decent research showing that those wavelengths do have a therapeutic beneficial effect. And I've written about this over at my um, over at my website in an article on the health benefits of near infrared and red light therapy. So check that out as well if you want to. So that means the Biomax is going to take around seven as well with five wavelengths and the Juve only has two wavelengths. So that means the updated score after seven rounds is two for the Juve and five for the Biomax. <music> Lastly, we have warranty, which is, I think it's a underrated uh, feature, if you want to call it that. A lot of people um, don't look at, at returns and, and warranty and whatnot, even support. Uh, and when you're spending a thousand dollars or thereabouts on something that you're going to be using multiple times a day, you want to know that you're going to get the support in here and um, have the warranty to back it. Now both of these companies are quite well known uh, in the LED space, however Platinum LED have been around for much longer than Juve. They've, they've been in the LED space for eight or nine years now. They've only been in the red light therapy space for about four years. Don't quote me on those numbers, these are just rough numbers. Juve have only been in the LED and red light therapy space for about four years as well, three or four years. So Platinum LED do have a bit more experience and uh, know-how when it comes to making these panels. They support that experience with a three-year warranty on all their Biomax panels, which is quite extraordinary, three-year warranty. The Juve, on the other hand, only have a two-year warranty on their panels. So for this round, again, it's quite a clear winner. The Platinum Biomax 900 takes out the point. All right, so that's nine rounds, nine head-to-head -head rounds. And it is very clear, the overall winner with six points against the Juve, two points, is the Biomax 900. The only areas the Biomax lost against the Juve was on the EMF front, and the difference there was so minuscule. I mean, I don't even know if, the, if this is accurate at the, the, the points difference there. You know, some people could argue that, hey, it was a tie, but the, that's what the numbers did put out. Both both panels are perfectly safe at six inches from an EMF ELF point of view, but the Juve was slightly better, and then the Juve was slightly better from a flicker point of view. But if you're not worried about flicker and you want to get the best, the highest powered panel, the quietest panel, the panel with the best warranty, the panel with the most LEDs, uh, the panel with the most wavelengths, and the best price then the Platinum Biomax 900 is the obvious choice. Not only is it bigger with 300 LEDs compared to the Juice 150, it is also $100 cheaper. It has a three year warranty compared to two years. It has five wavelengths compared to two. Um, and it has really good EMF levels as well because I know a lot of people are concerned about that. So that's it. That's my head to head between the Biomax 900 and the Juve Solo. Now if you're watching this and thinking, all right, well how does the 900 compare to the Biomax 600? I have actually recorded a video on that as well. So um, hit subscribe below, look at all my older videos, uh, and you can see the comparison between the 900 and the 600. Uh, if you wanna know more about the Biomax range, 
head over to Platinum Therapy Light uh, and have a look at their website or Google Alex Fergus Biomax Review and you'll see my in-depth review on these panels where I look at all the science and technical details and much data, much greater detail. Um, otherwise, leave a question below. If you do want to buy the Platinum LED panel, be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X. It will save you 5%. I do get a little bit of commission and it helps me purchase fancy gadgets like this so I can do these reviews. I hope you found this interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to check out my other videos as well as I've got lots out there. All right guys, bye.